Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, when I was growing up, if you would have told me that a time was coming where you could scan your palm to pay your bills or scan your face or eyes to enter, enter concerts and sporting events, I would have laughed at you and said, no way. Sure, you can see it in movies and television shows, but it didn't seem likely that this type of stuff would occur anytime soon. But fast forward to this year of 2023, and this is becoming the new normal. And it's like a slow burner. They are slowly but surely making this the new normal. And it should not surprise us because the Bible says this is exactly what is supposed to happen in the end times, specifically in the book of Revelation chapter 13. After the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, so the rapture of the church will occur, the Antichrist will be revealed, and then the tribulation period will begin. In Revelation chapter 13, we see that there will be a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. It is a system that will be able to control all buying and selling. Eventually, they will bring forth the mark of the beast, which is something they will try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. You won't be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. And what do we see happening now? We see them introducing the palm scanners to pay your bills and doing facial recognition to enter concerts and sporting events and even clock in and clock out of work. Notice the palm scanner involving the hand and the facial recognition involving the head. This is all part of conditioning people to eventually adapt to this B system that is coming and accept the future mark of the beast. That brings me to what I want to share with you guys today. Uh, I'm right near Philadelphia, and I go to Philadelphia Phillies games, so this really caught my attention. This is just in from biometricupdate.com. Look at the title of this article. Philadelphia Phillies lead off facial recognition access pilot for big league baseball. Let me read some of this to you. The Philadelphia Phillies of Major League Baseball are launching ticketless stadium entry with facial recognition. Fans can register to use the service at dedicated lanes by submitting a selfie through the MLB Ballpark app. The images are confer converted into biometric templates and then deleted. Fans do not need to scan a ticket on their or their phone when entering. Security screening is carried out separately but simultaneously. Groups can use the dedicated lane as long as the person holding all the tickets is enrolled in the service. Only fans 18 years of age or older can enroll their face biometrics. The app also provides an option for users to unenroll. Go Ahead Entry is a pilot program initiated by the MLB Major League Baseball and launching at Citizens Bank Ballpark on Monday, August 21st, just yesterday. MLB plans to expand the system to the other ballparks next season. This is going to go to the whole league, folks. Facial recognition is used for entry to New York Mets games with a service provided by Wicket, while Clear is used for biometric entry to baseball games in Cleveland and elsewhere. But I had to share this one with you today. When I heard that the MLB just launched a pilot program titled Go Ahead Entry, and that right now the Philadelphia Phillies, the New York Mets, and Cleveland are using these facial recognition systems. Uh, but then next year, they plan to bring this, what they're calling again, the go-ahead entry to expand to all the other ballparks next season. But what really has got my attention is we're seeing this palm scanning thing really take off. We know that involves the hand. 
and now you're seeing all this facial recognition stuff take off even more, and that involves the head. And we know according to Revelation chapter 13, when the time comes and the mark of the beast uh, comes, it's going to be something they try to put in your right hand or in your forehead. This is all part of conditioning people, folks. And make no mistake about it, in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Lord willing, unless Jesus Christ comes first for watching every day on this channel, you're going to continue to see this palm scanning thing grow all over the world. You're going to continue to see systems like this, them do pilot programs with facial recognition, not just with the MLB. Watch, in other countries, you're going to start seeing it with their professional sporting leagues. You want to be able to get a fast entry into the park? Oh, just, you know, get your facial recognition done so that way you can just walk through and get in quickly and bring your family too. You see what they're doing here? It's like a slow burner, but slowly, but surely, we are heading to toward what is recorded in the scriptures, specifically Revelation chapter 13. We are racing towards this beast system. And here's the bottom line. If we see the shadow of the tribulation being, being cast on the earth right now, if we see this beast system casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now, we know the rapture has to occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins. How close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with them forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. Horrific. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.